Dunkin' Cold Coffee can be brewed at home in your Keurig coffee maker with Dunkin' Cold K-Cup pods. Just brew it hot over ice and enjoy flavor that's crafted to serve cold. The home with Dunkin' is where you want to be. Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. And I was like, you can't be this bad at driving. You're not Asian. Well, guess what? Turns out she's mixed. Asian and black. (laughs) I thought she was Puerto Rican or something. Hey, Amit, Mira, you guys made it. Haven't you trained Amit to be on time by now, Mira? How long have you guys been married again? Don't mind AJ, Mira. He's just being a little stupid. You know how he is. Just a little stupid or just a little racist? How was I being racist? You know that's not what AJ meant, babe. Fine. Amit, why don't you get all your bro talk out of your system while I get some alcohol into my system? And AJ, it's been five years. Five delightful years of knowing you. Dude, I know she's your wife and all, but come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cut her some slack. A a kid in her class got suspended through no fault of his own. Cops were called. Mira's been helping the mom navigate the system. Also, Ajay, haven't you been dating Lily for a few weeks now? You don't know where she's from? Guy, it is not that serious for me to be asking where she's from. Look, she's hot. She's got a great ass. We hook up. But damn, she cannot drive. Her mom is Malaysian and her dad is Nigerian, for what it's worth. How do you know? Because I asked her, jackass. What? When? The team building exercise last month. (laughs) Should you really be hooking up with a colleague, Ajay? Dude, not all of us are in it for the long haul. Especially not to women too intelligent for their own good. No matter how slamming she looks. Mira's hot, but you're so whipped, guy. I don't know how you put up with it. That's not how it is. Mira is passionate about work and... Don't even bother. She's got you by the balls and the chains. (laughs) Hey, you didn't let me finish what Mira is passionate about. Oh, yeah? Things can get pretty, let's say, experimental. (laughs) No way. I would have taken Mira to be a total prude. (laughs) Seriously, though, if you ever think of splitting up, your boy will hook you up. I won't charge my usual billable hours. Consider it a pro bono case. Did hell freeze over? Did I just hear Ajay talking about taking on a pro bono case? Babe, that was fast. I thought you just did mergers and acquisitions, Ajay. These guys handle the money and you close the deals? (laughs) I'm getting a rum and coke. Drinks all around, boys? Ajay, this kid in my class got suspended today. Anyway, his mom's a single mom. She's got this small business. She wants to hire more staff and scale up. Even some basic advice... Hold up, Mira. Not my deal. You're better off with Tim. Sounds like that woman needs capital. Besides, Tim's got a real case of white man's guilt you can tap into. Ajay! Buddy, I got you a corona. That's one bleeding heart wife you got there. Fighting for the little guy. I thought the only thing you cared about was the size of your portfolio. Uh, uh, uh. Ajay! Seriously! Dude! Always keeping it classy, Ajay. You're wasted out of your mind. You're in for a hell of a hangover tomorrow. Guys, let's get out of here. Get some fresh air. It's getting a little crowded. Hey, Tim. Okay if I call you tomorrow? I can put together some information tonight on that kid's mom's business I was talking about. Honestly, any help would be appreciated. Sure. You have my number, right? Just shoot me a text. I get it. It's tough. Raising a teen when you're a single mom? That was my mom. I know how hard she worked to put me and my brother through university. Worked two jobs, always on our case. (laughs) And we didn't make it easy for her. Yep. Toughest job. Parenting. 
I see some real heartbreaking cases in my class, like this kid. He's not a bad egg, but he's young, black, has a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't know how to control his emotions. And- oh, uh, he's going to have to learn, Mira. Life's tough for everyone. I mean, it wasn't easy for me. Brown kid from Brampton on Bay Street. You know how many people think I'm just a diversity hire? Like I haven't worked my way up on my own merit? Or even Ajay? <laughs> Yo, Ajay, you okay, man? Sure, we might have dealt with some hard knocks, but you can't compare our experience to what a young black kid has to go through. I mean, our immigrant parents had to struggle. I'm not denying that, but we benefited. Look at how we're living. That's what I'm saying, though. I had to work to get where I am. I studied hard to get into Schulich, to make those connections to land a job. I worked summers to pay for school, and I worked at a restaurant when I was a trainee. Nothing is easy. A kid needs to suck it up. I'm not saying life should be easy. This isn't some competition about who's got it worse. Don't drag me into your old married couple argument. I'm too young and too fine for that. (laughs) Guys, I'm I'm gonna hurl. Of course. I get it. I really do. Ajay has always been like this. But seriously, at some point, you think he's going to grow up, right? I mean, don't you guys get sensitivity training at work? Come on, you know better, Mira. Those things are such a waste of everyone's time. How is it a waste of time? It's not like I'm asking you to quote the Geneva Convention. This is common sense. You can't get away with saying stuff like that. He's not serious about that girl. Whatever her name is. And that makes it okay? I know he's your friend and colleague, but honestly, it's getting harder and harder for me to tolerate them. How do you do it? Hmm? Do what? Do you know where the garage fob is? Right here, in front of you. How do you ignore the garbage that comes out of Ajay's mouth? (sighs) I don't know, babe. Is it really worth picking a fight? Another two years, I make VP. Five years after that, I'm SVP. A couple of years after that, I'll be managing director. Boom! Then we're golden. We won't have to think of Ajay and his inappropriate jokes. Other than at parties, maybe. That may be your path, Amit, but I can't just smile and pretend. I just won't come to your work parties. Might be easier that way. No need for you to explain why you're still married to your too intelligent for her own good wife. Uh, Amira, wait up! Damn it, Ajay. <clears throat> oh, uh, totally forgot to tell you. Rav is coming to stay with us for the weekend. Wait, what? Who's coming? Rav? You remember him, right? My best friend from grade school? He came to our wedding. Just for the ceremony? Where was he at that time? Nairobi? Or was it Jakarta? Had to fly back for some meeting in Europe. There were 400 people at our wedding. What do you mean he's staying with us for a week? He's coming to town for some conference tomorrow and Friday. We're both busy and weren't sure when we'd meet up. I offered to let him stay at our place. I thought it would be easier for us to connect. Uh, Plus, you were taking tomorrow and Friday off, right? Maybe you guys can get to know each other. We have that spare room. I took leave to prepare for the mentorship sessions I'm leading, not to babysit your friend. Well, he was going to stay at a hotel. I didn't think it was such a big deal. You'll barely see Rav. You'll be busy. Trust me, the guy lives to make money. Oh, great. Another one. He's a grown man. No babysitting required. You should have asked me. What time is he arriving? Early tomorrow morning. Okay, well, I really need to work, and I can't deal with distractions. It's enough having to pick up after you. I'm going to write a few notes for tomorrow. I'll be in the den for a bit. See you in the morning. Night, babe. Box on the floor again. Hello? Hey, it's it's Rav. Rav? Coming up. Ah, what the hell? Ouch! <sighs> Mira! Oh. Hey, Rav. Wasn't your flight coming in tomorrow? 
Sorry, sorry if I surprised you. I ended up taking an earlier one. Took a chance and got an Uber here anyway. Where's Amit? He was always the partier. Please don't tell me he's asleep already. He crashed. Long day at work. I'll show you the room. Is that all the luggage you have? Oh, no. There's a couple more bags downstairs. Would you mind getting them? Downstairs? I'm just messing with you. Oh, ha ha. Long flight? Uh, not really. Just coming in from New York. You live in New York? What do you do? Amit has barely mentioned you. In fact, I didn't even know you were coming until about an hour ago. Oh, so Amit sprung me on you. Oh my god. Well, to answer your first question, I have a place in New York, but I'm barely there. I need to travel a fair bit. I kind of live in hotels. I'm a senior financial analyst at a consulting firm. Listen, Mira, I don't want to be an inconvenience to you. I'm totally cool booking a room at the hotel. Like I said, I pretty much live in them. No, no, no. It's fine. It's late. Great. Could I get a drink then? Oh, water? How about tea? Coffee? We have decaf versions. You know, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea, if you don't mind. With milk, please. Ah, you're doing chai the old school way. Mm. That Alechi smell is amazing. Do you always add cardamom? Not always. Do you take sugar? I'm easy. Right. Did Amit you didn't buy... mention... <laughs> <laughs> Amit was saying it's been a while since you guys met up. Uh, yeah, my fault, mostly. I haven't been in touch. It's been a little... hectic. Uh, lots of traveling. You don't sound too happy. Our high school friends are all, I guess what they call, settled down now. Even Amit. Meanwhile, I'm still searching for my destination. Even Amit? <laughs> forget it. Forget it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a Debbie Downer. Does anyone say that anymore? An excellent expression, even if a little sexist. How do the kids talk about depressing things these days? If they are feeling down, they acknowledge it. Kids these days are smart. Well, to the smart kids of today. May they live long and prosper. They're kids, not Vulcans out of a space odyssey. Really mixing up our space metaphors there. You should be happy I didn't throw in a Star Wars reference. That really pisses the fanboys off. I can imagine. So, you and Amit, it's been what, five years? You're still tolerating him? Why? You didn't think we'd last? Well, I don't know you that well. During our brief meeting at your wedding, I got a sense that Amit had managed to land himself a smart woman. There were a lot of people at that wedding. Way more than I had planned. I think you're probably his only friend who thinks I'm smart. Most of them seem to think I'm too smart. And too pretty, of course. I could totally see why Amit figured out a way to ask you out. What do you mean he figured out a way to ask me out? I thought we met by chance, at the library. Amit didn't tell you? <coughs> yeah, forget it. Forget what I said. Erase it from your memory. What do you mean? He planned our supposedly accidental meet cute Amit's gonna kill me. Amit had actually seen you at a common friend's wedding about four or five months before he met you. Met you. Don't ask me who. Don't remember. You left quite the impression on him. Because man, did she ever work the auntie network. In a totally discreet way, of course. Found out who you were. Your friends, family. You just started on your job as a teacher. The library was my idea. Was it now? Why the library? Less obvious. Way less skeezy than trying to pick up a girl at a bar. Plus... From what I remember, I think he used to visit your local library quite often. I told him to get an interesting book and sit next to you. Strike up a conversation. Amit does not lack the confidence to start a conversation. No, he doesn't. Why didn't he tell me about any of this while we were dating? I thought he would have told you. I mean, it was quite sweet, the lengths that he went to. You know, Amit was the last person I would have thought to get married so quickly. We were all so surprised to see this romantic side of him. Hmm, right. Mira, he was just a little intimidated by you. You weren't like any of the girls he'd gone out with, or any of us had gone out with for that matter. 
You should have heard the way he used to tell us how special you are. He could not stop talking about you. Anyway, can you do me a favor and forget I mentioned any of this? He must have his reasons for not telling you. I'll think about it. <sighs> well, I should really head to bed. Thank you for the tea. It was, as you likely intended, very soothing. Oh, just leave the cup on the counter. I'm going to add it to the dishwasher and turn it on. Good night. Good night. Dunkin' Cold Coffee can be brewed at home in your Keurig coffee maker with Dunkin' Cold K-Cup Pods. Just brew it hot over ice and enjoy flavor that's crafted to serve cold. The home with Dunkin' is where you want to be.